what you have. Ooh. <gasps> like my brain instantly goes to shower door, um, fireplace, uh, our sink, which broke on the way up here. <laughs> Getting ready to head out of LDs today. Might cross the border today or just stay in Coke. We're not 100% sure yet. Trash going out. Morning's on his walk. As per usual for a leaving day, it's raining. <laughs> Actually, we've had amazing weather up here in Alaska, so I can't complain too much about rain today. But we're leaving Valdez at the perfect time because it's supposed to rain all week. All right, we'll see you on the road. We have officially done, what do they call it, the loop? I'm calling it the Alaska loop. I don't know if that's loop. official. I'm just calling it that. That seems fair. And we filled up our fuel tank for less than $100. Yay. <laughs> Next stop, we are crossing the border. Exciting. 516 a gallon. Should not get excited for that, but that's the cheapest we've paid in a very long time. Very long time. <laughs> David for swerving right now. It's telling him he needs to take a rest, but they put a little coffee cup symbol there too. They do. But Except this time it's in red, so she's really bad. Yeah. You basically you can see it, it's in red now. If it's a suggestion, it'll be in what, yellow? Yeah. Yeah, no, it's red now, which means the truck is really mad that David's swerving. But what Pearl doesn't know is that we are swerving for a purpose because there are so many potholes on this road right now. And we're not even on... We haven't gotten to the border yet. We haven't even gotten to the Canadian border yet. This is just the section from Toke to the border. And it's really bad. It is significantly worse than it, it was. At least it feels worse than when we came across. Like, I, don't, I, don't I, remember, think it is. I don't remember doing this much swerving. Big potholes, but right. We saw one person changing a flat. Yeah, we've already seen one person pulled over for a flat tire. Despite the fact that the Elkan and the Alaskan side, the road's a little treacherous, you might have to take your time on it. Do not let it scare you from coming to Alaska. It is completely worth driving here. Nothing we could do 
by the time we were on it, we were off it. And it was just, you gotta hit it. Usually, the cones mean there's a big hole and you can just go into the other lane and dodge it. That one went into the other lane. Yeah, no, that one was so really... So there was no getting around it. That was bad. But, uh, we made... all, my, all my tire pressure stuff says it's fine, so we're good. <laughs> all the tire pressures say they're okay, so that's a good thing. That was a hit. <laughs> but we may pull over when we have a next pull off here and just check the inside because I'm thinking like my brain instantly goes to shower door, um, fireplace, uh, our sink which broke on the way up here. <laughs> yeah, but there's nothing heavy in it this time. No, but uh, something broke. Something had to have broken. I'm going to say nothing broke. I'm going to say something broke. <laughs> Alright, found the rest stop and Just trying see to get mosquitoes out of my house. We have damages? We got Maybe? some. Yeah. Nothing too terribly bad, but like take a look at this. Well the max air fan thing, that popped off the wall. Oh, well there's there's casualty number one. Bedroom? Bedroom looks okay. Bathroom's a little yeah, chaotic. That kinda gets chaotic though. Yeah, but the shower door is still intact, so. Computer screen is Computer good. Screen is good. <laughs> Mirrors are intact. Yep. This is where the fun comes in. This is a hot mess. As you can see, everything that was up here fell forward. We got our basket down there. Um, looks like our utensils tipped over back in there. So we're gonna have to go pick all those up before we can pull the slide up. And there is definitely a I got a slide two. I was just gonna actually. You're gonna monkey crawl that? Yeah, I was gonna monkey crawl well, it. Take your shoes off. You don't need to get dirt on our counter. This will be entertaining. Big ass mosquitoes. Alright, I'm gonna like break this thing Time to pick up some mess. Get back on the road. Cleaned up. Cleaned up enough. Hey, there's a bunch of sawdust from over a year ago when we bought it. <laughs> Checking the TV and making sure that's solid. Well, is the other cabinets are they still shut? Yeah, they are. Shut, 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 shut. How about above the TV? Okay. Does this look like it's bolted? It's fine. It looks fine from this angle. Okay. I feel like I just tilted it back into place somehow. I don't know. Might have to look at that another day. Here's my fake plant. The culprit. And here's the garbage. The problem is I gotta put my foot here because I don't wanna put it here. This is on the lead. <laughs> well you know what though that, that door was or that cabinet door was still open so i'm glad we pulled over to check because it mm -hmm. could have been a lot worse there's, there's a lot, lot of stuff in there there's a lot of stuff in there there's like books and all kinds of stuff in there so crisis averted so even with the tpms or tire minder it tells us you know high temps um which could mean a blowout high pressures low pressures um, and I got my settings set but uh, Jessica noticed that her last place in Valdez they were wearing a little bit um, 
So even with that, I think we were just busy and it just kind of, you know, you look at it, you don't really think anything of it. Still always good, go around, feel your tires um, to know if there's anything changing. Uh, ours are a little smooth on the outside from the being under pressure. Uh, so even with the TPMS, you know, we've been RVing for a year, you still miss overlook small little things like that. Uh, thankfully it was caught, it's not enough to actually worry about the tire. Um, so we just topped off our tire pressures and they've been solid for the last 450 miles. No new wear or anything. We'll keep an eye on it back all the way back home. Uh, and that's 3,000 miles. So if nothing gets worse in that time frame, we know it was just the low tire pressures. And if it does get worse, then we have bigger problems. So another thing, I had these professionally painted. It was bubbling up and it tore right off. So I'm gonna call the place where I had this painted. I think they had a limited or lifetime guarantee on their paint for the flares. If not, maybe I can get something worked out because that's beyond patchwork. I'm gonna have to have the whole fender repainted. That sucks. All right, well, we made it to the spot where we are boondocking for the night, and it's beautiful. However, I made a gruesome discovery inside the rig. So I walked in and immediately found a little piece of glass sitting right on the floor, which is never a super good sign. It was this right here, this little piece of glass. And I noticed our block with all of our knives which usually sits back there it's heavy I mean this thing is heavy was sitting in the sink which means everything shifted over this way down in here doesn't look too terrible but uh, there's a knife for one that's not where that's supposed to be I can't really see because it's dark but the bottom pan of the oven has moved. Uh, fireplace is completely off the thing. God, I'm hoping that's not what's broken, but honestly, it might be. Remember when I said I was afraid of it being our fireplace that shatters? Great. We got Mr. Patient out here waiting to come inside, but we can't because, no, there must, still might be some glass on the floor, buddy. You have to wait outside. Soon though, he saw his bed come in, so he's very concerned that he's not here. Okay. Back out. Good boy. Slide number three. Slide three okay to go? Yes. Good? Yep. This is under there, but it's okay. You want to do one more flip? I think we're good. There's a bunch of Coke, Coke cans. cans. <laughs> I'm telling you, the L can on the way home is way worse than on the way up. Uh, I have no idea how this didn't shatter. This was just on the floor. This is the top or the face of our fireplace. It was completely knocked down. Honestly, we might just put that on the bed when we leave and deal with it when we get back to Wisconsin. Because it doesn't hurt to leave it undone. Yeah. He's tied up. <laughs> yeah, I think we will put this on the bed with our computer and stuff when we leave. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Stressful. Stressful. This is RV life. On the Alcan. <laughs> I'm ready to be done with the Alcan. Hey, we only have 2,600 more miles to go until we're home. We did we did just over 500 today, so we hit our quota. Hey, I'm trying to be happy, but I'm so hangry right now. Just think, the Lyard Hot Springs are coming. Well, hopefully you can hear me. There's a little bit of wind. I just want to show you this and kind of talk over it a little bit. We decided to boondock at Kluan Lake. Kluan or Kluan? I can't remember the pronunciation. 
Um, and I, we showed you this spot on our way up the Alcan, and we thought it was absolutely beautiful and stunning, so we thought we would try to stay here on the way back home, and that's exactly what we're doing. There's multiple turnouts. Uh, a lot of them are small, set up for smaller rigs. Pardon the generator noise. But this one is very large. We fit in here easily and you could fit even a few more rigs but we got it all to ourselves but that's going to be the end of day one driving home 500 out of 3100 miles but we drove from valdez to just past destruction bay in one day i'm proud of us we did good we had some broken stuff but that's to be expected on the alcan and it makes up for it with this view. Beautiful. All right, we'll catch up with you guys tomorrow. Join us next time as we continue our way back down the Alcan and we stop at some very iconic locations. Don't forget to like and subscribe.